Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, Miss, we've arrived at the Civil Affairs Bureau. You're so pretty that the man who marries you must be very lucky. Fanya Moer had been sleeping in the back seat with her head tilted, suddenly, she heard someone speaking in front of her, she opened her eyes in confusion, when she saw the smiling face of the driver in front of her, she sucked in a deep breath as her body subconsciously shrunk back, what was going on? A second ago, she had been reading a novel in her bedroom at home, how had she ended up here in the blink of an eye, what was even stranger was that for the first time in her life, someone had actually said that she was pretty, was she dreaming, Fong Amor got out of the car in a daze, she was even more certain now that she was dreaming, when she took her phone out to pay, she had accidentally pressed the recording function on it, she had not expected to see a beautiful face reflected from her phone. What kind of divine person is this? Fong Amor touched her face, the beauty in the phone was also touching her face, the images were very synchronized with each other, was dreaming that she had become a great beauty, Fong Amor turned around and looked at the entrance of the Civil Affairs Bureau. Many of the people who were coming and going could not help but look in her direction. Not only had she dreamt that she had become a great beauty, but had she also dreamt that she was on the way to register her marriage. Fong Amor smiled. So. Who was the groom then? She looked left and right, eager to see what her dream Prince Charming looked like, since she was so beautiful here, surely her Prince Charming matched her in looks as well, just as she was thinking about it. A black luxury car slowly approached her from afar, the car stopped in front of her, when the car window rolled down, a handsome side profile was revealed, the man did not notice Fong Amor who was staring at him. Instead, his head was lowered as he made a call, just then, Fong Amor's phone rang, Fong Amor glanced at the caller ID and was immediately struck with shock, the name on the screen was Mu Chun Den Yu Chen. Wasn't he the male lead in the silly novel that she had been reading? At the moment, Fong Amor did not realize the seriousness of her problem yet, she only raised her eyebrows, thinking that it was all just a dream, she was in the mood to watch the show, curious to know what the groom in her dream would say, Amor, I can't come today because I have something else to do. Let's postpone our engagement for a while. I have some business to attend to here. Fong Amor was momentarily stunned, as she subconsciously looked at the man who was talking on the phone in the car right in front of her, aren't you already here? Then Yu Chen was stunned and subconsciously said, I must have been mistaken. Little Rong is sick and I'm taking her to the hospital, that's all for now. We'll talk about it later. Fong Yamoer was stunned. Who was sick? Was it more important than me getting married? However, the person on the other end of the phone call had already hung up, the sound of beeping abruptly rang out. Fong Amor lowered her head and stared at her phone in a daze when a thought suddenly came to her mind. Wasn't the person that Mu Chen, the man in the book, really liked called by Rome, the novel she had previously read was called, You Are As Deep As The Sea. The male protagonist Mu Chen owned an entertainment company that was in imminent danger. To ensure the flow of his company's funds, he had no choice but to pretend to marry the female lead, Amor. In reality, the person he loved was Bai Rong, when Fang Amor had started reading this novel, she had become quite furious because the female character had the same name as her. The female character had then given all her assets to the male lead, Mu Chen, in order to pursue him, unfortunately, Mu Chen had gotten together with Bai Rong before they even managed to get married, the wedding had been delayed until the matter had eventually been exposed. By then, Fang Amor had lost all her assets and she could not bear to see Mu Chen and Bai Rong being so in love. Thus, she had turned into a vicious supporting character and resorted to doing many crazy things, however, in reality, it had been the author who had created this setup for Mu Chen and Bai Rong as a way to reconcile their feelings, the female lead Bai Rong would always be saved by Mu Chen in times of crisis, and the relationship between the two became even more intense that I in the end. Fong Amor's reputation had been ruined and she lost everything. She had even been personally sent to prison by Mu Chen and spent the rest of her life in prison. It could be said that the character, Amor, had lived a very miserable life. On the other hand, Mu Chen and Bai Rong had lived a happy life, with both their careers and love reaping a bountiful harvest. Fong Amor felt that her current situation was a little strange. Why did the people in her dream match the characters in the book? At the same time, 
her heart was burning with anger, was she dreaming about the plot in the book according to the plot in this book, in a few days, Mu Chen would completely reveal his cards and break off the engagement according to the current situation. Fang Yamoa had already used up all of her assets to fund Mu Chen's company, she would never be able to get it back in. This lifetime SC asterisk mag. Fang Yamoa could not help but curse, you're a man full of lies, I don't want to marry you. She did not know how a man with a such bad outlook on life could become the male lead that he had used the money from the female supporting character to be with another woman. I in the end, he had not regretted his actions at all and had mercilessly sent Fong Imoa to prison, did you just say that you're not getting married? The sound of a man's oppressive voice suddenly came from the car in front of Fong Imoa, Fong Imoa looked up, she witnessed the handsome man that she had initially mistaken to be her groom, saying coldly, well, I hope you don't regret it. With a snap, the man hung up his phone, Fong Imoa shook her head, this was a very unlucky dream, were all the people in her dream being dumped just before getting married, she smiled and walked over in a relaxed manner, she knocked on the window and smiled, we're both people who have fallen from the sky. Don't be sad, little brother. Those who have been lost are all people who are not worth it. There will be better ones in the future. Fong Imoa knew very well that this dream would end very soon, that was why she had spoken so freely, the man in the car put away his phone and raised his head, his eyes met hers. At that moment, Fang Yamoer felt as if the noise around her had been silenced, she fell into the man's dark eyes, she could not help but gulp that he was so handsome, Fang Yamoer would completely believe it if he was an A.list celebrity, this was a face that looked as if it had been carved by God, every part of his face was perfect, Fang Yamoer's heart skipped a beat, she stared at the man in front of her. Her thought was that her brain cells were extremely strong, she could not believe that she had managed to dream up such a perfect man, the man coughed, which brought Fang Imoa back to reality, suddenly, there was a click as the car door was opened from the inside, Fang Imoa stood rooted to the ground, the man got out of the car and approached her. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.